Hello. In this video, we are going to talk about how to take a backup of your WordPress based website or rather the WordPress part from your website. Now, depending upon how you have installed, where you have installed, there can be multiple ways. So if you have hosted it on an actual site where there is some kind of control panel, you can simply backup using the backup options available over there where it provides a complete backup, backup of your uh, files and directories and separate backup of your database. We will look at the simplest and the straightforward manner of keeping a backup of our WordPress here. Now, as we know, WordPress consists of two parts. One is the WordPress package itself and second is your WordPress database. Now, before we proceed, let's just have a look at our WordPress directory. Over here, I have installed WordPress inside this area. Okay, so this is our WordPress directory. Over here, we basically need to have a copy of this content, out of which this is just kept over here uh, for demonstration purpose. This should not exist because we have already uncompressed it. Now, the important thing actually over here is the WP content where you have plugins, themes and uploads. So these are the actual directories where your content which you had updated files, images and other things, any themes that you decided to add are over here. Everything else outside this is the WordPress core which we usually do not make any changes to. Now that was just for an understanding. So what we uh, simply need to do is have a backup of this. That means you can create a compressed backup of this particular directory and download it. This is the first part. And second part would be to simply have a backup of our database, which we can take either from the command line or if you have installed PHP MyAdmin or any other interface that gives you access to your database. Fine. So WordPress does not have any kind of special option where you can put the site in maintenance mode or anything. So we simply just make sure that our WordPress site is working and is accessible. Okay, so let's start with the backup. What I'm going to do is either from the command line or whatever, I will select all the files. I'm discarding this. This should not be here as I mentioned earlier. And we will create an archive over here. Fine. Now, where do you want to save it? I don't want to save it on my server. I will save it on my desktop and it says public html i will say wordpress backup on and give the date so let's say if today is 25th may 20 may dash 23 and tar.gz this is the compression depending upon your understanding put that kind of compression. You can use zip or whatever you prefer. If it is on a server, make sure that your uh, compression is supported on the server. Fine. So obviously in a real life situation, you'll be compressing it on the server. So whatever compression is there, the same compression will be available. Now let's make sure that we have our WordPress backup here. So I'll create a uh, folder temporarily for understanding. You have to make sure that these backups are kept in safe location at least one or two places, maybe on a pen drive or some backup site you have or uh, web based folders or something that you have, you can put it there. So I'll call this as WP dash backup will create it and I will just move it over here. Fine. Now my basic backup is done for WordPress. Now next thing is we need to take the backup of our database. So I will log in either you log in as root 
or you log in as that particular user if you don't remember the username and password what you do is simply go to your wordpress location and look for wp config okay so where is that wp config open this file fine and here this is your database name fine this is your database name this is the username and this is the password to access it okay so you can get it from here now let's go back there and we will log in as that particular user fine now here this is my wordpress database now what i'll do is i will simply go to operations or i will go to export fine here it says quick format sql you can go for the custom one where you could select the all tables which you want tables which you don't want until unless you are sure don't make any changes what is the format you want to export it in is sql only fine we don't want to change this okay then save output to something something we will just leave these things as it is fine now we will export it so here we will say go and you can see the export is completed wpdb.sql okay so our export is done by default this got downloaded over here so i'm going to copy this and keep it along with this space and if you want you can compress this fine you can compress this also to save some space now this is very small so i'm not going to compress it but in real life sites this could be a very huge database sometimes it could go to gbs itself fine and in actual servers you by default will get an option uh, over here somewhere to create a compressed sql fine not just a simple sql file but a compressed sql file so this way our database backup is there and wordpress backup is there and we have got the backup now you can decide when and how many times you want to take a backup next video we will see how we can update this score as here we can see it mentions wordpress 6.6.2.2 is available usually there could be some security updates or performance updates so it's uh, always a good idea to keep our site up to date